Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Lord Barov due to it being called to my attention that even though I play Barov a lot on stream and he's a very interesting hero to play, I don't tend to put him on YouTube for some reason. I'm not sure why, because Barov has been one of our horses this patch. One of the heroes that we've gotten incredible amounts of MMR with. And when you gamble well early and you level to the moon, the game just feels super, super easy. Turns out having two extra gold per turn net is pretty good. Add the buddies on top of that and you get an extra five gold net per turn and things start to get crazy. If you can go to six and stabilize, well, it's only a matter of time before your entire board is just obliterating people with six stars. All right, enjoy. Pretty good. Tempo now, greed later. I take both, right? Unless I want to let it roll. Floor go on two, one mech. Alakir or Alakir Vol'jin on one one mech no dragons in staying down because like double micro mummy or something doesn't really matter long as sneaky squid it's Nicolina right that's Nicolina's alt account right I always get people's names confused when they have alt accounts regardless Whenever she's on one, that should be a, a free one. Interesting. Two pair is kind of cool. Like high qual, or not two pair, but high quality minions. Very expensive minion to buy, considering I'm using coins for it, but... With the first gamble, I'm going to do it. Then we're just going to level Rafam with an extra minion on the board. Lich King on one, Swabby turn one versus Vol'jin on one, mixed minions. So the first one was a mech, second one's not a mech. I believe in the Reborn if they both stay down. Could go the other way, but it's pretty tough for Lich King not to get more value off of a Reborn minion than Vol'jin would get off of a little bit of attack slash stats. Good hits. Pretty close to perfect. Experience wise, could hit here. Yo, Bover, how's your day been, man? Decent. Decent, decent, decent. Boo. They tied, and unfortunately, we get Lich King 2 on what looks to be Shiny's curve. Should be little to no reason to play Swabby here. We can either take or Alley Cat, dump it on the board because we want the power, and absorb the Micro Mummy hits. Take an Icky Imp. Yeah, I really just don't care that much about middle of the game, keeping stats on the right minions and whatnot when we're bare off. We just need to be strong enough that we don't take too much damage, make sure we get our buddy on time. Tier 2 Alakir, losing round 2. Flurgle Tier 2. One hero has an advantage, the other one doesn't at this point in the game. As long as he's in level to three. I feel like they should do a proper schedule. Now it feels like it's all over the place. Something like season one ends 34. Yeah, I mean, it feels like it should... The seasons or the... Whatever you want to call it. The first qualification should end. Then it's offline portion should end. And then it's online portion should end and then the next qualification round, or whatever. 
That way, for a viewership standpoint, it'd be sequential. I don't complain with having more tournaments. But it definitely is awkward from the standpoint of viewership. Is there anything here that we would... We would want... Like, I would definitely debate on buying Tad here if we didn't have a buddy as bear of. Don't think so. Did we qualify for Lobby Legends? I can't read and I don't listen. Well, then I guess you're not going to get your answer today, Etruscan. <laughs> Well, that's uh, the easiest gamble of my life, if that's the case. Why is Millhouse still on two? <laughs> and tripling in the threes. What? Gotta adjust this. I'm going to very, very shortly. I'm going to be changing over the Firestone. But Millhouse tripled into a three. You guys just can't see it, because if you curse over the top thing, it's behind the dog cam. Here, the dog can be beside me today. Meh. I don't like it. Better. Damn, Bob. I like that minion. Thank you. Are we going to look around on four for a second? We get a jug and we get pirate synergy. We like all of it, honestly. a little bit awkward gold wise that's all <laughs> double grubber let's just buy that too let's have all the triples it's genius I'm sure we'll hit the triples next turn so Florgal goes to three, buying shit. Rafam goes to four, not buying shit. No triples, no triples. Why is Lich King so weak? Maybe held a triple. Not a believer in Rafam over Florgal here. Florgal stays on three. Hey, both of these. Hey, Daifum. D-I-F-O-M. Tech <laughs> W. We have the stats. He has a lot of death rattles. Doesn't really matter. Bootlegger rip snarls like these bootleggers are so valuable. Two extra coins every turn. Turns out that's pretty good. I guess I gamble first to keep gold. Florgo's gonna go to four, limp up. This guy's gonna go to four. Maybe he stays on three. 60 seconds left. He's not that weak. But this Florgo apparently hit something. I'm gonna have faith in the Sneed. I don't mind just leveling straight the six. I don't know what's going on down here. Yo, Bofer, you finally turn decided to turn up your lights? Yep. Genius. 
He's staying on three. Not sure what's going on here. I turned up the lights, dude. It just happens to be the sun. That's it. That's the lighting. Could swap those now. There's a lot more stats. It's four gold a turn off of these bootleggers. They are so strong. Yeah, this guy's also staying on Tavern 3. It is a confusing game. I'm not entirely sure what's going on anymore. But this Millhouse and many others, this game seem to have gotten lost. It is the nine gold turn. On three, on three. All right, we got a gamble, right? No. Tad's okay. Tad plus Swamp Striker's okay too. Malgadon's decent, some would say. Do by Jug at this stage of the game. We only have three tribes. Malgadon's good, some would say. Do by Jug at this stage of the game. We only have three tribes. Do I Jug at this stage of the game? Kind of like putting the extra tribe on the board. We have to break gold though to do so. God, I need to gamble this turn. My order is very bad. Almost forgot to gamble. Even just coin flipping a gamble at the end of the turn is worth it. Net positive with our apprentice here, right? I was too excited by all of the, the sarcastic things I could say about the game right now. First game, warm up game. Good gamble, Bofer. Good gamble. A lot of thought and effort went into that one. Hmm. Kind of like picking this up if we see it here. If we get a Malgadon, though, it's really awkward. All right, whatever. Baby Crush, why are you so big? End of turn. Lifing? Brands, plural? Don't really care about more adapts here. It already has everything it needs. I'm not going to spend resources on it. For some reason, I think I've seen this game before. Just can't put my finger on it. Something about it feels like we've seen how this one ends. Did you ever take another nosy looter? We'd have to sell something from board. Or we'd have to not gamble. guy is apparently a good death rattle mech board. He's winning rounds. Reset the nosy looter stacks. <laughs> we can get a golden one and keep it on the board for a while. Feeding brand more shots at Amalgadon is pretty good. 
we are a little bit ahead right now. Just a, a teensy bit. Just doing Barov things. There's so many busted things you can do with just being on six quickly. We're even holding a, a second Buran. Always so difficult to get all the moves in. I mean, if you're focusing, it isn't. At least most turns it isn't. Sometimes it is. I'll, I'll give, definitely give you that. Some turns it definitely is. But uh, my difficulty just comes from commentating and <laughs> speaking words and playing game is hard for me. Is what I'm trying to say. I'm okay with holding seafood. I want more Malgadons, not this thing up front. I view this as pretty strong. I want to gamble too. I can hold the coins for next turn. But remember, we're going to get Golden Buddy, which means that our hand size, we're one short still. We also get a Golden Unit here, which fizzles. Very awkward. Interesting. I don't dislike picking a little bit of this up. Stats up front, we can even hold this. We don't have like a golden brand or anything. We actually have to drop this. As well. All right. So we need the two spots for the buddy. We need the one spot from the nosy looter minion that turns gold, and we need the three spots for the coin. So if we know we're getting the gamble right, we actually need all of those board spaces. So I have to roll that gold away. I'd rather have anything in my hand other than the coin more than that coin. Because this thing triggers after the coins from Barov, right? I don't actually know that order. Is that the case or not? Hey look, poison scam. I for one have never seen a poison scam before. Heh. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool ghoul, bro. We killed him. Alright, now we get our golden minion, we get our coins, assuming the ghost didn't win. You first. Seafood, you're good. Coiler? Maybe we can trip into something else. I don't think we have a lot of reason to pick up a zap. We can pick you up. Can play you through. I don't need another seafood. Nosy's okay, Goldrin's okay. They're both just kind of shit. Nosy is a potential triple too. Probably should have taken that slightly better. I don't even want to keep it on the board though, was my thought process. Like this thing probably leaves the board this turn. I like cleave. Got a lot of turn left. Um, just gambling. Tossing this back down on the board. Yeah, we just have a ton of resources. The question is what we want to try to do with it. I'm not playing for tempo here, like at all. I'm just looking for ways of getting a final board that wins the lobby. Nothing I'm doing in these turns is intended to win these turns. Like, we just kind of naturally do that.
Damn. Did you just bet on a Sneeds? Death Rattles versus Vol'jin boards are typically Death Rattles. Look at him go. Do we like six attack on a Faux Reaper for two gold? Probably. I don't love the fact that we can't find another Amalgadon, but you know, they're no, they don't have them. Nobody's left the low tavern tiers yet. Where are my Amalgadons, bub? Guess we just start cycling. Where are my primal fins even? I have so many seafoods and I can't find amalgadons. All right, random bullshit stats. Bullshit stats are on a cleave though, and that's the big difference. Same deal. All right, game. All right, game. <laughs> You're being mean. All I'm taking are little stats. Little stats in current year, dude. Just depends on what this board looks like. Vol'jin usually naturally counters Flurgle. Seven triples on Flurgle. I just don't have a lot of faith in the, the current... Vol'jin. Not sure that board hit. Driving anywhere is better than Boston? Fun fact, I've been to Boston once in my life. It was awful driving there. <laughs> Literally been there once. It felt terrible to drive there. <laughs> What's up, Joesman TV? How you doing today? Decent. Look at all these pirates. Also, we can't get a poison to save our lives. They don't exist. Seffin will never proc again. It got nerfed. <laughs> never proc again. When's the last time you didn't lethal somebody in this lobby? Wait, they tied? I don't like that. Um, awkward. Vol'jin can beat us. So can Florgal. Just depends on what the state of the board is. We need Amalgadons. We have been here for 30 days. 30 days on Tavern 6. We can't seem to find the Amalgadons. Where are the Amalgadons, Bob? What have you done with the Amalgadons? Okay, I guess. Please allow me to play cards for my hand. Seven Murlocs. I think he's going to outstat us. game a game Never mind. 
He didn't outstat us. Just put everything on the board at the end. Just hope. No dong. Yeah, we cannot find a Malgadon. It is extinct. Our Malgadon is extinct. So is this tooltip just not changed because it was a hotfix, or did they not push the patch through yet? I didn't look at when the patch went live. I'm assuming it's just that it isn't live yet, right? The ghost claims another soul. <laughs> it was the ghost of Sneed. <laughs> that, I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, Sneed hard counters Vol'jin. It's nothing Vol'jin's gonna do there, but if you make a glass cannon Vol'jin board and you see a Sneed, it just lights out. Yes, yeah, Crush was still a 7-7. Good call. Alright. Nobody hit anything? Yeah, I mean, games are short, man. That is that is just this meta. Once you see somebody has won the lobby, kind of like what we did, everybody played for... for yeah, we lost the bed. <laughs> everybody played for tempo. And that's something that will definitely differ between... High rated play and like, you know, 6k MMR play is that people will identify when lobbies are lost and play to their outs as opposed to people that are on, you know, 10 health going, can I level to Tavern 6 here and just going for broke and taking a 10 percenter to live. <laughs> it's a big difference. Which is funny sometimes when you play on an alt account or whatever, people, there's no fear at 6k. <laughs> I don't care, I'm going to the moon. 